to you, editorial news. Black Friday, November 25th, 2011. I'm thinking about Kenya and how they want to develop themselves. They have an idea. Let's see if that idea will be good. Kenya to have nuclear and get, be involved with nuclear program. Hmm. It's you know it must be desperate times to where Kenya is thinking of using nuclear to develop energy and I'm thinking if they do that how well would they be able to handle if it's success well or handle if it fails if it fails oh my goodness you think they'd be trying to catch Al Sabah? Al Sabah wouldn't be in Kenya at the if they had nuclear a uh, project in, in in Kenya. They'd be like, oh, oh no no no, let's go back to Somalia. Uh, uh, let's go to uh, Tanzania. Uh, no no, I wouldn't trust Kenya with that. Oh no no no, because. Who knows? Here they are. They'd be trying to help out the east east part of Africa. Well, East Africa, that is. But what about those who will be adjusted and learning about it? What can they do? They're going to end up getting it. And if they slip, <laughs> man. That could be a lot of people in jeopardy. Just imagine um, the people who is not very intelligent and they just want to just make a living growing uh, crops and land and talk to people and, and walk down the road or something and they get caught up with some nuclear fallout then they be glowing in the dark, and then I could see uh, Citizen TV or NTV talking about it. Say, what about it? And then they they speak in uh, Swahili. And then they glowing in the dark. <laughs> and then you could just imagine the cattle, the livestock glowing, and, uh, even the elephants. And the elephants. Their, their mind control is we can walk anywhere. They'll go in there and knock over plants of the nuclear power, and then they'd be going in the dark, and people be screaming. <laughs> so that's kind of risky. I wouldn't try that. I mean, you're going to have to have some real, you're going to have to have some uh, electric wire. Um, fences to uh, prevent animals from getting over there and then if you have a fire you better know how to control it or else you're going to have people glowing in the dark livestock glowing in the dark Whew. and then if it rains and of course uh, the ground got to be stabled if it, you know because of that ground is muddy or how they say in Swahili, motope. Uh, and it, it would break and the ground would break and everything would fall and fall in the river. And I'll be glowing in the dark for a while. Well, Kenya, think about it. I can see Kabaki now, you know, he's not president anymore. He'd be saying, G L I M glowing. What's K 
can you go how to do is stop it for people will not glow in the dark and that's what it is I'll be back with my last story of this day Black Friday on the LTL editorial news